Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Apple iDev here. Um, today's tutorial is actually not necessarily going to be part of our Mac development series, but more a series on how to effectively use Xcode. Um, one of the things that I realized that I haven't been covering at all is documentation. Um, and the big thing with documentation is that Apple provides really good documentation for all of X for all of the Objective C uh, methods that are available to you, and um, the documentation is actually really interesting. Uh, the documentation is how I learned Objective C. I taught myself. Um, you know, technically, I taught myself uh, through two ways. First, I taught myself through a series of books, um, and I'll post a link to the website that sells the books. It's apress.com. Um, I'll post a link to those websites in the description. But the big thing is that I actually taught myself also using the documentation in Xcode. Um, so I'm just going to show you kind of how the documentation works, how to navigate it, how to understand what everything means. So for that, I'm going to uh, open up Xcode here. And we're actually going to go over here, and we're going to say, um, learn about using Xcode. And Xcode will eventually bring up a window here. And you see it has documentation. And originally, it just shows you the Xcode, uh, the, the uh, Xcode how-to here. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to go up here where it says Xcode Developer Library. And we're going to go into OSX 10.7 core library. And when you go here, you see that uh, we're given this window which has a whole lot of uh, fun stuff here. Um, but what we're actually going to do once we're there is we're going to go here. We're going to say user experience. And you see in user experience, we have all sorts of different documentation. So I'm going to click on user experience just so we can have easier navigation here. And now what you're going to see is we have all sorts of different documents here. And what you're going to see is over on the left side here, there are different icons. There's this C, which means it's a class. There's this book, which essentially means that it's a folder and there's more documentation there. And then there's this uh, Xcode project icon, which means that it's an Xcode sample project, um, which you can open and run and try and understand what that code means. So to give you an idea, I'm just going to do something very basic. And I'm going to go down here to Windows and Views. And in Windows and Views, I'm going to scroll down to uh, Window Programming Guide. Once we're in Window Programming Guide, you can see that it essentially, this document is just a list of how to use programming for Windows, how to use Objective-C to program a window. Um, and you can see these articles give you a description on all sorts of different stuff. Um, so that's one way you can use it. You can just browse and find what you want. The other way is over here in the search bar. In the search bar here, you can search for a class or for some sort of concept that you're trying to understand. So here we'll search for NS window, which is something we've used in previous tutorials. And we'll wait for Xcode to catch up. This documentation file is several megabytes. It is very large. They're just massive amounts of data. I mean, we're talking thousands upon thousands of just files of documentation and text and Xcode projects. So if your computer kind of freezes up a bit, just let it run. It's searching through thousands and thousands of files. Uh, so just let it run and eventually it'll finish up. So we'll um, let it search here. And yeah, you can see I get the little uh, spinning beach ball here. Um, don't worry about it though. Um, the best way to do it the best way to uh, speed this process up is by quitting out of everything except Xcode when you're developing, and that'll speed up the process. It'll just allow more RAM. And what you'll actually see is something interesting. You see we have two listings for NS window. We have this one here, and we have this one here. And you're asking yourself, what's the difference? And the one difference is if you look up here in this bar right there, watch how that changes. Right now it's the OSX 10.7 core library for OSX Lion. Now it's over in 10.6. Because we're developing for 10.7, at least in these tutorials, and I would assume that if you're trying to develop, you probably have the most recent software update, um, you're going to want to use the most recent core library. Um, if you're worried about backwards compatibility, you can use the 10.6 library and make sure all of your methods are compatible. But for the most part, we're going to stick to the 10.7 library. Um, and you can see, once we have this uh, class reference here, you can zoom down and you see it gives us an overview and describes what this class is for. And it gives us more than a hundred methods. It just gives us methods and properties and more methods and more methods and more methods. And they just keep going and going and eventually they end. 
Um, but what you'll see is we have all of these, and I'm just going to find someone, uh, one that we've already used. Um, there, let's look at, let's see if we can find key, there, uh, uh, can we do key equivalents? Let's see if we can find one of those. Oh, that's why key equivalent isn't going to be in NS window. So, in any event, you can still look here and you see, um, what else can we do? Let's just say make key window, since we use that in our code. And you'll see make key window gives you a, basically just what it does. It says it makes the this window uh, the key window, and you tells you how to access it, and it says it's a void method that takes no inputs. Um, and you can see it's declared in nswindow.h, which is what we're already in, so you can't click on it, it's not a link. But the other thing that Xcode does is it gives you these links to other uh, methods. You can go to make main window, and if you go back, it'll take you to the method you were at before. So this is cool. Uh, you guys are going to want to experiment with documentation. If you ever have a question about anything that I'm bringing up, don't be afraid to search the documentation or just post a comment. I'll respond as soon as I can. I get notifications on my iPhone. I get notifications via email and everything. So I should be able to respond within a few hours at the latest. Uh, so please subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video in the Mac tutorial uh, series. I'll also be starting a series hopefully soon on Java and hopefully another one on coding basics uh, before you get into Java or any of the upper level languages. So stay tuned. Uh, for now, this is Apple iDev signing off, and please subscribe. Thanks.